Hi, my name is Adam. I'm going to talk a little bit about impact. I'm the founder of a company that combines smart devices, artificial intelligence, and natural language to bring security to millions of people who are today without. But the real point of what we're trying to do as a company is to have an impact on the world around us. It's something I've been thinking about for a long time, perhaps my whole life, and I think many people here in the room think about impact on a regular basis. How can we have meaningful impact in the things we do and how that relates to a connected reality will be the approach of what we're talking about now. But first, I'm going to go a little bit backwards and talk about quickly about my own personal story. So impact for me when I was young was perhaps like some other people. It meant writing poetry. In writing poetry in my mind, words on paper can transcend from myself to another individual and impact them personally in a deep and meaningful way. It turned into something very different when I moved from Marin County where I grew up to Israel and joined the Israel Defense Forces. An impact then meant using my physical body to impact a nation or people for a cause that I believed in. That led to many years, a dozen years of working mostly in New York in the security business, working with large companies that had tens or hundreds of millions of dollars to spend on security. But what I noticed was that there were organizations religious organizations, schools, community groups, nonprofits that had no money to spend on security and no expertise. So I co-founded a startup that was a nonprofit focused on solving that problem, working with local police departments. And it became the largest security nonprofit in the country. And that leads me to and us to where we are today as a company where we're focused from day one on, yes, building products and solutions, but much more than that, on finding impact and understanding what the tools are that we can include in our company in the way we think about problem solving that can drive impact in what we do. So let's go even farther back in, in time. And let's talk about horses. In 1861, J.B. Kendall invented the composite horseshoe, an amazing discovery. That was improved a few years later in 1892 by famous African-American inventor, Oscar Brown, with a compound horseshoe. And the idea was simple. The top of the shoe would attach to the hoof of the horse, and the bottom of the shoe would be removable. And the goal of them and many other inventors of that time was to improve the horse. It was to improve the experience of riding faster horses, longer distances, quicker turnaround, but why was that solution so limited when we're looking at a global impact point of view? And why did it take an inventor just a few years later to change everything and have a very different approach? When Henry Ford once quipped, if I had asked people what they wanted, they would have said faster horses. The reason is it's about problem solving and about how we get from problem to a solution. If you move directly from a problem to a solution without first deconstructing that problem and understanding what the roots of that problem really are, then the solution by its very nature will be limited. And let's think about that in the context of these horses. So the problem we're looking at today is horses. We need a better horse. Or we need a faster horse. We need a better experience around this horse. But when you start thinking about that problem in itself, what it really is is more efficient transportation. That's a very different problem to solve. But when you dig down even deeper, it's about something different. It's about movement, scale, and many other things. And if those are the problems you're trying to solve, the solution becomes extremely different than trying to solve the problem of a faster horse. The way we look at it is the difference is improving a solution is very different from solving a problem. Most people, and most companies, when they start, they begin with the status quo, what exists today. And when you look at what exists today, your natural inclination is to say, well, how can I improve what's out there? But when you start with what exists today in the status quo, you're naturally tethered 
to the solutions of the past. And what you can do from an impact point of view is extremely limited. You're limited based on what's happened in the past, what's been discovered in the past. And when we started with the Internet of Things and connected devices, it was the same story. We didn't want to start with solutions that are out there and improving them. We wanted to have a very different approach to the market and a very different solution. And so the journey and the process we took started with deconstruction of the problem prior to finding the solution. And the way we look at deconstructing the problem is that it enables a solution in a very different way. So deconstruction for us meant starting with a problem. And this problem that we saw was home security. Most homes are not secure. In the US, less than 15% of homes have any kind of security. Around the world, the numbers are much lower. And the reason why these numbers are even lower than they should be is that the people who need security the most are the ones who are least likely to have any type of security. This is a problem. But is this the problem we're trying to solve? We started to look deeper about what security really means and how we understand it. And we realized that it's about people aren't feel, not feeling secure in their home environments. And they don't have access to help. That's already sounding like a different type of problem to solve. We started thinking about it even more, and we realized that home security is really about some core basic concepts of information, communication, and connectivity. Now, if you think about solving a problem, when we start with homes are not secure, if you try to solve that problem with sensors and new technology that exists today, the solution you're going to come with is, let's add more sensors or better sensors or improve the sensors. But if you try to solve the problem of information, communication, and connectivity from a physical environment, it's a completely different problem to solve. And the solution will be open to major impacts on the world around us. And so it starts with actually providing an easy way to connect, easy way to communicate to a physical environment. But now once you're connecting and receiving lots of information from a physical environment in an easy way, then you're feeling more secure, and you are more secure, because you know what's happening in your home. But it stretches beyond that. And the possibility of impact on a global scale is really opens up by looking at a problem in a very different way. And that's all we really did. It's, it's not complicated. We started with the deconstruction process prior to the solution. Now, when looking at a problem in a different way, we challenge the very notion of what's possible in our society. In many ways, people are, are less connected than they were before. Yes, I know we're more connected by our phones and we're more connected in many ways, but we're less connected to our families and we're less connected to our, our physical environments because we're so spread out. We don't live where we, you know, 100 years ago, even 50 years ago, we live next to our parents. We live close by, we knew all of our neighbors. There was a strong feeling of community bonds. And now things are different, and we're spread out. So imagine the possibility of what can happen from different types of connection in this home environment. It opens up the possibility of impact from more connected families, to more connected home, to community bonds. Because the way we look at it is connectivity is an element of safety. Connectivity means safety. It means security. If we had started and asked people, how do we make a home more secure? Or started with that as our starting point. The solution would have been have a stronger lock, a taller fence outside, more sensors around the home. But by starting and asking a very different type of question and providing both information from a physical environment and the empowerment of an individual to act on that information, the way we look at it is our solution and the impact can be transformative. Thank you.